this presentation is going to go over how to make interactive slides using a diagram or image sort of as the touchstone for all of your slides. I'll quickly go through what the finished product looks like. So we've got the brain from the underside and it shows the five major parts. There we go, our first typo. So you would see when you hover over the different brain sections that there is a hand. And if you click on the hand or click on the colored sections, a box shows up. And then if you click on the box, it gives you some facts about that area. I don't have to go back to the home slide. I can go back to the home slide if I want, but let's go back to the temporal lobe facts page. From there, if I wanted to then see what the red one was, I could then get some facts about that. So this is nonlinear. You don't have to just follow straight through the slide presentation. You can jump to any point in the presentation. If I wanted to go to the purple area, and then I decided, you know what? I don't want to see information about ponds. I want to find out what that is first. And then I could go back to ponds and find out information about that. And at any point, I can go back to the home screen. So this is a nonlinear interactive Google Slides presentation. One of the most important things you need to do this right and as quickly as possible is to have a good plan. I know that there are one, two, three, four, five sections, and I want there to be two slides for each section. When I click on this, it will take them to what will be slide number three, and then the name will show up. Once the name shows up, I want them to be able to click on that to see more information. So I'll need slides three and four for this, five and six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. I also want there to be a button up here that they can click on. This is the home button that takes them back to this slide every time if they would like to. And this image is going to be what gets copied to every other. I will get rid of that. And I will add the home button. I'm just going to do a simple Google search. I want to filter it so that there's just clip art. Go ahead and make that smaller. And then we will link it to slide number two and click apply. Now we have a slide that is ready to be duplicated. So we've got slide three and we need to go to 12. So if I click copy, then I can just click control V multiple times. So I've got 12 slides. Now I'm going to go back to this slide and I'm going to create the clickable areas. I want to select the polyline tool. This lets you create your own line. Wherever you click, you can maybe see the little blue line coming in, wherever I want it to turn. And I'm going to have to go around the orange. It doesn't have to get all the way up to every single part. Just give them a big clickable area. You want the fill color to be transparent and the line color to be transparent. 
you can also go ahead since you have all of your slides created you can link this and we know we want this to take us to slide number three and we apply that then we will go ahead and create polylines for all of these shapes of the brain i'll do one more i'm going to do this one twice once on each side of the white area so you can see i went through that pretty quickly and then again i i know that the green is going to be three and four so these need to link to slide number five. Oops, I didn't click apply. Make sure you do that. It gets annoying to have to go back and do this over and over. So again, you just need to now continue to go in. So this will be linked since that was the green was three and four, the yellow five and six, this can be seven and eight, nine and 10, 11 and 12. One of the most important things you're going to do is selecting everything that we've got in here. I've got all of my clickable areas created and ready to go. So now you need to basically start on what you think would be the outside of the image and draw around everything. And now you can see that I've got all the stuff in this area. And I am going to click Control C for copy. And now I'm going to go to this slide and click Control V. And it pasted that onto it. So now you've got all the mapping that you did for this one. And you're going to apply it to all of the slides you created. Now you're all done. Everything is mapped and you now just need to add some of the navigational pieces. What you need to do is make some boxes that will be linked to these. They do need to be transparent. If you want, you could have them be a color that matches. We can do that. So we make this on slide three, which is where we want this to click to take us. And then we want to link this to slide number four, where we will type some information or you could have a video about the frontal lobe. And now if we hover over any of these areas, there's a hand that they can click on. So we click on the green, we click on frontal lobe and it takes us to information about the frontal lobe. We could then go to the home slide so we see our instructions. Or if we were here, we could jump to any other section which will have information eventually. All right, I have finished adding all of the text boxes to each one of the slides. And I guess I could show you a quick way to do that. We'll delete that one and that one. But once we've made this slide, or I'm sorry, once we've made this text box, if you make sure you're clicking on the outside of it, just click Control C and then move down to this side and click Control V and it'll paste it right in the exact same spot as on 
the previous slide that's a nice little feature and then if you click Control v again it will make another box for you and then we can move that over here so you've got a text box that matches the same color and it will house the information and then we do want to go back and make sure that we link these boxes to the correct slide we want to link this one to slide number 10 and click apply now if we start our presentation you've got all of the clickable regions you don't have to go in a linear fashion to find out what the parts of the brain are and to get more information you simply click on the text box and that is an interactive non-linear slide presentation hopefully you will find this useful in your classroom